Namaste everyone. I am Rajiv Goel. I am part of DLC Global Event Committee Delhi chapter. I am very happy to be on this platform today as I feel as, as if I'm standing on red carpet of Cannes and I belong from Octave Events which is into event management and this is a brand of HKG concept viewers LLP we are into three verticals that is real estate advisory construction and event management. I was born at Kot Kapura and I'm a third generation entrepreneur from a business family. My father had his roots in Okada, Pakistan and then post partition he shifted to Rotak and then finally got settled at Kot Kapura, Punjab. He started his business of brick skills and construction at Kot Kapura. I was the youngest amongst all siblings and they, that gave me an advantage to learn from my elder sisters and all my brother-in-laws. I left Punjab at a young age of 12 years old to join a boarding school at Delhi and during my school days I was learning much more than my academic studies. I was the head prefect of the school and we had a lot of pranks to do in the school time. Even after my schooling I did not want to go back to Punjab. I stayed here for my graduation from Ramjas College Delhi University. My staying in a boarding was a very good experience in my life which has also given me lots of friends which are still having strong bonds with me over the years. Today at DLC Talks I am going to speak about an expert's guide to top class event. Events. The word sounds lively and refreshing. I am pleased to let you know about my journey to reach event industry. I left Punjab at a very early age and joined a boarding school at Delhi where I was a head prefect of my school for my champion house. Post my schooling I also stayed back for my graduation at Delhi only with Ramjas College Delhi University. Staying in a boarding gave me ample exposure other than academics to build my other traits and uh, develop bonds with lots of friends who are still placed all over the globe and still keep strong bonds with me. Boarding life was real fun. During my childhood I was very passionate about doing handling events and functions in family and friends as my interest. During my initial years of career unrest started in Punjab in around 83 and our family was again to be uprooted like we were uprooted from Okada. In 83 we shifted base to Delhi. I was lucky to get some government contracts. During this period while I was working on the event industry as my passion I also got opportunity to arrange some Hasya Kavi Sammelans at Indonesia, Thailand, Singapore through Indian community based there which gave me a good exposure to start to get into event industry vertical as well. The year was 1992 and there was a new store opening in Delhi called Landmark. It was a departmental store and first of its kind concept in Delhi at that time. I got opportunity to get the inauguration done by none other than Pooja Bhatt at that time. She was face of the year and a very big celebrity during those days. We had a great event with this opening and Delhi had first of its kind event where a Bollywood actor cut the ribbon for opening of a store. After that these things have been repeated so many times but that was the first time it happened. I also ventured into production of TV serials along with my construction and event management activity and I produced some TV shows for a channel called NEPC TV which was a Madras based channel wherein I produced two shows of 36 episodes each. One was Hasgola which was a laughter show and another was Backstage which was based on the celebrities behind the camera. My luck as it would have it the company NEPC went bankrupt and I suffered huge losses in that venture and I had to again fall back on my construction vertical to make my living. As I am number 8 born, year 2006 was very important in my life. It, it was the year in 2006 when my wife took over the reins of Octave Events to manage events for corporates like Bosch, SAP, Ircon, Punjab Kesri, Manolal Jewelers and many many more. And at that time I also got opportunity to join a very big construction company Anantaraj Industries Limited at Delhi as their GM projects. And the GM asked me to meet at the moment small site in the evening at 4 pm. I went there at 4 pm and the whole team was standing there all the consultants, architects, the directors. The problem was the basement of that site was dug up straight vertical without any steps and the loose earth was falling constantly down and it had caused some deadly mishaps and work could not move. I was standing at one side and I had a smile, smile on my face. Director looked at me. He knew I had something in mind. 
he called me, Mr. Goel, why don't you come and share the solution if you have any? So I told, told him, sir, give me just seven days and 7,000 rupees to solve this problem. All were astonished. They said, what's the solution? I said, you can all come on eight day and see it for yourself. The director said, okay, I give you 10 days and 10,000 bucks. But on eight day, I should have the, on the 11th day, I should have the solution. After they all had gone back, I called the site manager. I told him to call a donkey labor vendor. Gulshare, the donkey labor vendor, when he came, I asked him, Gulshare, can you cut this slope into steps and make it safe? He said, yes, sir. So he was asking me just 5,000 rupees and five days. I gave him 7,000 rupees and seven days to get the work going. By grace of God, on the eighth day, when the whole team came, the site was fully operational. And the, all the senior management in Anantraj had a joke after that, when engineers fail, donkeys work. Anyways, all this what I spoke was to just give an idea how the experience helps. I had learned deployment of donkey labor during my childhood at my father's bricks cleans and knew they, they have a solution. Anyways, now coming back to the Octave events. We did some grand events over the years with our event company. I'll dwell on some few of the events which are noticeable. Number one, Bosch. We did a sound of EV launch for Bosch at PhD Chamber of Commerce at Delhi and the whole auditorium was transformed into a beautiful setup. Even the staff at the Audi was amazed to see this transformation very happy. Number two, we were, we were LTS for UNICEF for eradication of polio from India. We did more than 100 workshops pan India for polio eradication with UNICEF and we only stopped when India was polio free. Number three, we did a very big event for Manoharlal Jewelers where in Alka Yagnik performed, it was their 85th Founders Day at Johala Nehru Indoor Stadium. The capacity of hall was 2,500 whereas the guest which arrived was 3,500. So we had to set up huge screens outside the Audi to make the sitting arrangements and even dinner was for, served for all the 3,500 guests. Most remarkable thing about this event is everything went dot on time. When I called our MC Geetika Ganju, he is also a fellow DLC member to the stage at dot time, she said, Mr. Goel, are we in Delhi? Is the event happening on time? I said, yes, event is happening on time. And Shekhar Brothers, till date, are very, about, have, very happy about this, who are the directors of Manoharlal Jewelers. After executing some good events with corporate world, we wanted to venture into destination wedding sector as well. First, we did a dip test by doing some events for family and friends who could place their trust in us for local weddings. And during that time, my son was also doing his hospitality management and wanted to come back to the family business. So I told him, first you work with some nice hotel chain. He started, he joined job with Lee Meridian Daily, learn the hospitality sector well. In 2015, we started with destination weddings and we did some amazing destination wedding over the years with brands such as Marriott, IHCL, Taj, Accor, etc. I, I remember an incident from my very first wedding at Westin Sona. The couple, the bride and groom, they had settled for the fair ceremony. And the Panditji was supposed to bring a Havan Kund and he forgot to bring it. He asked the groom's father, Mr. Mittal, I need a Havan Kund. And Mr. Mittal called me. He said, Rajiv ji, I need a Havan Kund. So I went berserk, it was midnight and Western Sona is far away from the city. I didn't know what to do, but then the Eureka moment clicked. I just rushed to the Tandoor section in the lawns where satellite kitchen was placed. I asked the chef there, can you give me a pan which covers the tandoor? That is like a tasla only. And just get one clean for me. And the team was very fast to do it. And I brought back the tasla and firas happened in time as per the Shubh Mahurat. The groom father was very happy next morning and he hugged me. He said, Mr. Goel, you saved us embarrassment. So at times we, we stuck up with similar situations in event industry and we have to have a fast solution instead of getting into a panic mode. As I say, we executed flawless events. It's flawless, is never, it never happens. Flaws are always there, hiccups are always there. We have to have solutions to cover those hiccups. That is what the managers are for a good event planning. Now I would like to share the key ingredients based on my experience for a top class event. Point number one, be a very patient listener to client needs. 
that is with respect to budget, taste and needs. The clients go berserk when they are explaining their demands and at times they made some demands which are not practical but never say no to a client in the beginning itself. Hear to them with patience and then as they connect with you, gradually explain them the problem and proactively bring them to the solution and they'll listen to you and go as per your advice. First experience is very important for any guest and we all know that in most of the hotels word over check-in time is normally 3 p.m. and the guest arrival start at 12 noon. You don't know how to settle those guests so you must have activities to keep them engaged till their room is ready and even if the room is not ready, they should be made to do something so that they don't feel restless because if you settle them in the first impression, they'll be happy throughout the event. And my topmost advice is, is my first advice, my tip for handling this situation is never pre-block the rooms. Always serve the rooms on first come first serve basis, otherwise you'll, you'll always get stuck up in allotting the rooms to the guests. There may be a guest who comes early and his room has been assigned, which is not ready. As our tagline says, serving with a personal touch. Personal touch is very, very important in any event. You should work as if you are the family to give a experience of trust to your clients and honor both the families and all the guests with equal respect and understand their needs and gauge their moods to give them a very nice experience of the entire event. They should go back smiling and keep remembering you because our industry is reference industries. One happy client gets us 10 more clients. Whenever we host a destination wedding, we understand the room requirement of the client. And our focus is always to try and get a property which we can do a buyout of the property instead of having a mixed crowd of wedding guests and FITs. And this helps because there are many public areas which are not of use if other guests are staying in the property. To get a complete control of the property and use every inch, it's best to have a 100% buyback of the property. Right now we have to host a wedding for 600 guests and we are finding it very difficult to find a property where we can accommodate 600 guests. It's not that there are not such properties but either their budgets are much higher than the client expectation or they are already sold. But I am sure we will find a solution soon and sort it out. And maybe we'll do buy out of two adjacent properties as well. Each, each event is different. And at times we face hiccups, which, which only an experienced mind can solve. Like at one event, our MC, she had a st stomach infection. And now we were without an MC for the event, which was very, very important. Solve such problems. I always keep talented team members in our team. They can always stand up for such emergency use when any such problem happens. So talent, having a talented member in the team is very, very important for a good event company. Each event is different and at times some unforeseen problems happen. Like you must have seen band Baja Bharat and in same, Shah Rukh Khan was to perform but then Bittu and Shruti had to perform in place of, instead of Shah Rukh Khan to make the event successful. Likewise, in our team, we always keep some talented members because at times, if the MC gets a stomach infection, we are left with nothing. We have to put up someone to keep the show rolling. So very, very important to have talented team members amongst your team. Moving on next, just a week to the event, by that time, everything is planned and we make a checklist with minute to minute detail of the entire event in the last week of the event, wherein everything Every minute detail, the flow chart, the menus, the control areas, the decor vendor, list of all the vendors, their numbers, team, who's handling what, everything is put on pen and paper and a complete Bible, we call it, is made in our company. And we give one copy each to all our team members, the hotel team and the clients as well. So that nothing goes wrong. So it's very important to have a very proper planning and execution for the D-Day in any event management. Even after my journey of 40 years and execution of so many hundreds of events and works, I still feel like a fresher every day. Each event is a new play and every detail gives a new learning. To conclude, I would say, be it a toddler or an 80-year-old person, look at everyone as a teacher 
everybody has everybody has something or other to teach you based on this principle i publish a book all my teachers do read this book on amazon.com as it may have glimpses from your life as well hats off to mr jimmy mistri he is a great inspiration i thank him and the entire dlc team for such a wonderful initiative to help us inspire and be inspired thank you